guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 13 and 14 of Blue Reflection Ray. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started with episode 13 in 3, 2, 1, go. Me. Okay, so whatever happened that day is the reason why maybe nine. Mm, Not her older sister. It has to be the the one the one with the long blonde. Um, I think it was Shino. I think her name is. Maybe someone important to her died, and she's trying to save her. I don't know. Ah. Uh! And now we're adding more characters. I wonder what the fuck they're gonna do. I still hate the fact that Momo is now in the situation she's in, but you know, it's okay! She's gonna come back, hopefully. Soon. Yeah, go have fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, how have you two been since the last time I watched this show? Yeah, but now since you didn't take Hiyori's soul and you took Momo's soul.
but at the same time you still failed though. That's a good ass question. She's got to be in the other world now, possibly. In the other parallel universe, that's what I'm thinking of. Cause she's probably put nothing down for her. Exactly, which is why we really need a, a bomb ass story, a really backstory on Chino to see why she is the way she is. She's the most mysterious character out of all these characters as of right now. Stop, I don't want to cry. She went to normals to get her stuff.
They are so gay. Mm -hmm. I love it. They are secretly in a relationship, but it's you know it's kind of obvious that we all kind of know that they're in a relationship. But they're also probably the new bad guys. Or good guys, who knows? Well, that's good. No. So hold on. Of course that's Nina. Is Nina trying to get the feelings of girls in order to see, you know, he what his old sister again? It is, of course. She has a Nina collection. <laughs> she over here like, I need something to get me off.
See, we, we can't continue from that. We have to go back to the real... I, I want to know what the hell is going to happen. <laughs> you can't leave me hanging like this on a thread. Yeah, but the thing is, what if it's not her sister? Like I said, it could be them two new girls who we just saw in today's episode. Or it could literally just be Nina. She's not going to fucking make it, of course. The fact that she already has the same things as Sheena already all on her. She's too far gone. There's no way that she can save her sister by the end of this. And, okay, the, the saving still, in my opinion, could be killing her. But who knows? A flower. Oh. Mm. Ruka, I don't think she's going to make it. Not unless, like, Nina comes out of nowhere. That's because she is. Yeah, but you know you can't. You ain't as OP as you think you are, babe. There's Nina. Girl, no, that's Nina.
Yeah, because you don't want it to overtake you. And then you can't use them. But see, Nina, why didn't you take your hood off, though? You see the piercing eyes? Those are eyes of revenge. Wanting to, like, kill the shit out of Uta. Like, when Uta finds out that's Nina, Nina is just gonna go eight bad shit crazy. She is probably gonna kill Uta, and the day that happens, it's gonna be a happy day, because I can't stand Uta. Okay, so for a returning after taking a break last week, for this first episode of the second half of this show. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. It's good. I, I'm still hoping that we get, like, maybe a whole episode on Shiori and, you know, Hiyori's sister and Uta and stuff. I want to know about these two right here and their situation and such because they look a little interesting because, of course, they're a couple. But you want to know what's wrong with her and, and such and, and, and their little backstory. So hopefully we get something soon. Don't play with my feelings right now on that. Mm -mm. Give me my ish. And then, like, Nina. Like... <laughs> I'm happy that she's, like, in the between of still being good and evil, but she's really only doing this to save, you know, Hiyori's sister. She's not thinking of anyone else but Hiyori's sister and the connection that she has with Hiyori's sister. So, <clears throat> but also seeing, like, Momo today. That was good. Even though it wasn't the way I wanted to see her, I don't like the fact that she's now, you know, in a coma, basically. she She's doing freaking asana. It's, it's a say all over again. Like, oh my god. I, I hate that. I hate the fact that, like, Momo became such this badass character in the first half of the show, now to become not really a damsel in distress type character but just like a minor character now because of the fact is who knows how long she's going to be quote unquote sleeping for or in her comatose state um it could be from now to the end of the series or now until episode 19 it, it's still a lot of unanswered questions on that but going back to to uh, Hiyori's sister, the fact that she has the same things as Shino on her face and, you know, on her shoulders and her arms. Like, that is indicating how far she is willing to go to give Hiyori this perfect world of everything being okay and happiness and stuff without all these different sorts of emotions and, you know, despair and depression and everything. But at the same time, it just, she's already losing herself. She's in it way too deep to the point where it's like, she is, she can't be saved. And even though Hiyori is trying to try her best to save her sister, it's still not enough, you know, but we ain't gonna know until I get to the, ep the next episode. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 14. All right, episode 14 and three, two, one, go. Mm.
But she did. I know we are really truly in an alternate parallel. Yeah. Yeah, when you did that. Yeah, but do you even think if you do find Nina, will Nina want to see you? I know, but she's changed. I understand that, Miyoko, but she's not the same person as she was. <laughs> but it's training to have that on a constant loop over and over and over and over again like uh I, I can't imagine that Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's make that a first priority, number one, no matter what. And then let's talk about Nina. Data, data from what though? The fact that she has like every little moment in their playlist together, that's so fucking cute. Uh oh. Hmm. Is that 
what's supposed to happen. Girl, not only you spaced out, I mean, woo! Um. Sheena knows it's Nina. Dude, hold up, boo boo. You be a little greedy today. I mean, damn. And then Uta. <laughs> if you don't shut your. Excuse me. Could be there for hours. Yeah, you for Mhm. Mm Unfortunately, you know, I mean, she does, but then at the same time, she has no way to contact her. I honestly thought Nina would have ran away at that point. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs>
Okay. You know, you know, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and, you know, your possible girlfriend, if you want to? She said it was her home. Yeah, honestly, babe, you are easy to read. She right. She is right. Because she is not the same person that I was kind of liking. She is different. She is too far gone. It's time for your sister to die, honey bunny. You cannot save her. Well, that's great. How the fuck you going with your momo then? Okay, but are you?
there she is. She was the girl all the way at the be- What the fuck? Are you serious? Probably everything. The first time that they met each other. Them being friends. Maybe the first time, you know, I mean, you fell in love with her. <laughs> Girlfriend. 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 Girlfriend, your wife, your lover. She wanted to so many times, but she was afraid. Oh. There's got to be another way. There's always another way. Well, yeah. You hungry? Mm. You know how that feels, right? No.
Okay. Now knowing that I'm gonna do was like the girl in episode one, that's crazy. I, I never would have thought that that would have came back in order to kind of loop that together. But it, once again, expect the unexpected, especially with this dang show. Um, but I feel bad for um, Ruya. Like she, she has Amiru there, but it's still it, it's her. But sh it's still a shell. She still feels empty. So she's there, but she's not necessary there. Of course, her feelings are gone now. Knowing that with Nina saying to Hiori that she tried to put the flower back in one time and it didn't work. Once you take it out, it can never be put back in. So then what the fuck are you supposed to do? There's a lot of unanswered questions once again. Episode 14! But who knows? I mean... And then Nina also saying that, once again, Hiori's sister is too far gone and there's no way to really bring her back to normal that initially the only way to bring her back to normal is to kill her i completely understand that and if you have to do that it is sad to do but in a way it is necessary but i feel like if killing kiyori's older sister is that gonna bring momo and the rest of those girls who's lost their feelings or their souls or hearts is that gonna bring them back once again, a lot of unanswered questions. So, I mean, it, it's like if we could, <laughs> if we could do two alternate timelines where in one timeline, Nina kills Hiori's older, older sister to see if Momo and the rest of those girls wake up. And then if that didn't work, go back in time and be like, okay, so, you know, we all found out that killing her won't bring these girls back. We need to try to do something else. But of course, no matter what, in anime perspective or in perspectives on almost anything, there is always another way. So hopefully we're able to figure out that conclusion at least before or by the time we get to the end of this show. Now that we're like into the second half of this, this is now where it's getting really, really good. Especially adding um, these two new characters in the mix and their story, which is really tragic and sad and everything. I, I just literally... I got nothing about what the fuck is about to happen. I, I think, you know, Hiyori's sister is going to pick two random people, of course. Hiyori's going to be there, right there. She's going to be like, you know, Onei-chan, like, no, don't do this, da 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 And, of course, she's not going to want to hear her. But until we get an episode on Shino, which I'm hoping is coming by episode 20. By episode 20, before this show ends, I need an episode specifically on Shino and her backstory. Once again, she is the most mysterious character out of all these characters, including the two that we just met in the previous episode, continuing more on to in this week's episode. But still. Excuse me, sorry, oh my god. Um, But still, I need a little more clarity on her. Like, a S A mother effing P. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of Blue Reflection Ray. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 15 and 16. Bye, guys.